G'day guys, Justin and today I'm going to be shearing with the 380 watt Take It electric sheep shearing clipper. Now this electric sheep shearing clipper has six speeds and I'm starting off on the first speed here. I got this clipper off Amazon. So you can get this clipper on Amazon or eBay. And if you like this clipper, there's a link in the description below. So I'm just starting off on the belly wool here, coming down in the belly wool. And there's a fair bit of dust in this sheet. And this is the very first time I've ever used this clipper. And it's got the take it comb and cutter blade on as well. So it's straight out of the box. Ungr well, I haven't ground it, but it's been ground in the factory and ready to go. As you can see, there's still a lot of dust in this sheet. And this is really going to test this clipper out. It's going to test out the blades as well. But so far, so good. And I'm really liking the, the, um, the cut so far. And the blades are going in on the skin quite well. Now I'm getting caught up in the legs here. And that's because I haven't got the cord up high enough. It's, it's dangling down too low. If I put the cord up a little bit higher, then I wouldn't get caught in the legs. That's just a bit of a tip there. Coming down into the hind leg here, ready to go underneath the tail, and it's cutting really well. Brand new comb and cutter on, brand new clipper, never used. Now starting on the undermine. As you can see just there, there's a lot of dust stepping back. See the dust on, on that sheep's back? This is going to test this clipper out and the blades. Now stepping up the neck, stepping on the, uh, doing the head first, and then going through onto the neck. Still a lot of dust there on that head wool. This sheep's a little bit wriggly, coming up underneath this chin here. You want to get this part done as quickly as possible. Try and not hold that head back too long, because they don't like that sheep. Just let it sit comfortable as quickly as possible. Bottom side of the neck now. Just following each blow. I've got a 76 millimeter bevel comb on, a four prong cutter, straight out of the factory. Here we go on the side, the side on view. Coming underneath that armpit now. Be very careful you don't cut underneath that armpit there with no wool growing. That can be cut very easily. This cutting and cutter sticking on the skin, it's not picking up any skin at all. Now I've just, I've just turned up the speed on that clipper, put it up to about six, and now it's really smoking along on the skin. It's cutting smoothly. There's that dirt, dirt in the wool. And it's really holding its edge in this dirty, in this dirty fleece. This comb. Very pleased with it. Coming down the last side here now. Down onto the brisket. Down over that shoulder blade. Onto that front leg. Once again, be careful underneath that armpit there. You can cut them. You just have to be very careful under that, under that armpit. If you're interested in shearing sheep, then I've got a sheep shearing course as well. In the description, you can click on the link in the description and we have an online sheep shearing course for anyone who's interested. Coming down onto the last leg here now. Just keep following each blow as you come along. It's only a 76 millimeter wide comb. So you've got to try and fill it up to take as much wool as possible every blow. And that's combing really well, that comb on the skin. There we are. He goes out the door happy as Larry. Righto guys, I've just finished using that 380 watt Take It sheep shearing clipper. Um, and my honest thoughts of it. So that I was shearing really dirty sheep, you can see um, all the dust on that sheep that's come off the sheep's back there. Comb and cutter straight out of the box. 
I had to adjust the comb and cutter up back a little bit so the lead wasn't so long, um, but that was all right. It, that was easy enough to do. I oiled it and started to use it straight away. Same comb and cutter, not ground um, that I ground, but straight out of the box. Comb and cutter went perfect, great. Really good entry. It didn't ride out of the wool. Um, it it uh, seems to me to be about a six millimeter bevel. So a good all rounder comb to use on British long breeds. Um, also your Australian Merino types, um, Merino crossbreds, um, all, all of your pure breads you could use this on. The clipper is quite cool still. Um, so that's really good. It's not hot on the head. It's not hot in the motor, motor area. So that's a really good, um, really good sign after those uh, couple of tougher, dirtier sheep. Very, very pleased with it. Um, it probably didn't have the power that other 380 watt clippers have, but it got through the wool really, really easily. It's all the same, especially with that nice comb and cutter. I really like the comb and cutter. Fantastic. So um, when I put it up to the six speed, it did run a lot faster than what, than I think what it says, 2,400 revs per minute. It felt like it ran faster than that. But um, I wouldn't run it on speed six. I'd probably run it on speed one or two. That is plenty fast enough for anyone wanting to shear their own sheep. So I can highly recommend this Take It uh, Sheep Shearing Clipper. It's great value for money. Um, you'll get great use out of it if you're a hobby farmer, a small farmer, few sheep to shear, or dag or crutch, um, uh, or to get rid of the maggots. I think this will be a great little uh, um, asset to your small farm. Thanks, guys.